My name is George Katzeroff. I'm a, a professional engineer, environmental, I'm graduate of the University of Toronto. I have uh, more than 35 years of experience in the engineering field. Uh, presently retired. I retired from Ontario Power Generation in 2001, and since then I've been with Keso, doing assignments with Keso. I have been uh, in Asia, assignments, assignments in China and the Philippines. I have been in assignments in Africa, in Cameroon, uh, in assignments in uh, uh, Latin America, which includes Central America and South America, in assignments in Colombia, in Bolivia, Honduras. I had assignments in, in Eastern Europe, in Ukraine, and in Armenia. Well, I'm an environmental engineer and I do... Uh, my specialties are water and wastewater, supply, distribution, treatment, disposal, and also I do solid waste management, collection, treatment, disposal. And these are types of assignments that I'm looking for. It's a type of assignments I've been working in, uh, with my clients. Like, uh, for instance, the clients in, uh, in, in, in the Philippines, one of them was for on, uh, water supply, and the other one was on solid waste management. Assignments in South America and Latin America have been uh, in, uh, in the wastewater treatment. Uh, I'm specialized particularly in, and I specialize in, I would say I specialize in try to promote the natural wastewater treatment systems, especially for these uh, developing countries because most of them lack financing. See, all case assignments are notable, and uh, every assignment really is, is, is a challenge. As I said, uh, the most notable assignments for me, I would say probably are all of them notable. Uh, assignments in South America I like because uh, they need it. There's a lot of, uh, there is a requirement for uh, functional wastewater treatment systems. Uh, which will provide better sanitation. Uh, there is a, the poverty level in certain places is higher and uh, they need the sanitation. So uh, the places where I, I go and I recommend certain improvement or certain uh, application of certain methods that will improve their, their lives, so that will increase the the level of uh, the, the standard of living, the sanitation level. I, uh, I, I enjoy it better because this makes a difference. I, when I go to the assignments, I like to make a difference. So uh, I recommend, most of the time, I recommend something which is feasible, which is simple. They have the, uh, the means to, to apply it without a uh, huge uh, capital cost. The most impressive for me is the assignment to Honduras. Because Honduras is a country really Pro, I would say probably it's the, 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 the poorest country in, uh, in maybe no Latin America. And uh, the sanitation is, is badly needed. Uh, the assignment in Honduras, I have been there three times, and there is a particular uh, municipality that I visit where uh, we are applying uh, a natural wastewater treatment, which is called a biofilter. Bio I have started uh, the first time I went there. We have started to uh, to implement it, and uh, I have been there every two years. I pretty much I go there again to follow up on the uh, on the recommendations that uh, uh, that I have been given them and uh, have been discussed. And uh, they are implementing as much as they can with the, the, the minimal resources they have. And I think that really is. Uh, is make a difference because the first time I went, I went there, the, the, all the, the, the disposal of the untreated water was going into the nearby river and, uh, and children were swimming there and it was really hazardous for their health. Now the last time I went there, it is, uh, it is, uh, they have implemented uh, some of the recommendations that, uh, uh, that we have, guess we have recommended to them and they have agreed with, within their, against within their means, the budgets are very restricted. But uh, the river is uh, is much better condition. The samples we take 
show improvement. They, these people could come here and see really, they want to improve on their sanitation, not only with wastewater, but they want to improve with the, uh, with the landfill, with the sanitary landfill, and also they want to improve their standard of living by implementing uh, a solar energy systems. Uh, many of, 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 of the villages, which they call our days, they lack electricity, they lack of electricity, and they want to install, you know, to provide basically uh, the simple, simple uh, energy to, uh, to to their population, which they lack because of the remote location, they are somewhere in the in the mountains. Not a mountain, really, hilly areas, which uh, are difficult to provide uh, uh, to provide uh, electricity by normal means that we use here. So the solar energy is probably the best way to for them to go. And this is the place where I am kind of concentrating to to do more for them than more in the future. The results of the, of the recommendations. I want to go back to the Armenian project because uh, that's, that's a comp something, the, uh, the natural type of what wastewater treatment, the lagoon type system, is something new to them. And if it is successful, which I believe it will be, uh, this will be implemented not only in one, in one location, this will be implemented all over the country. That will create, that will create first will create uh, uh, labor, will create use of local materials, also will improve the sanitation of many locations which at present day they uh, dispose, they dispose the wastewater into the rivers. And uh, that improves uh, the uh, standard of living of the surrounding people of surrounding po the population in the villages, especially for small villages, small to medium-sized villages, which in developing countries, this is, uh, this is, uh, this is common. And I believe that I did and what I do will make a difference in the life of people, because really, we improve, I try to improve uh, the standard of living, and I try to improve the health of the people, to reduce the hazards, uh, improve the environment and the surrounding environment uh, because I have noticed, especially with water and as well as solid waste, uh, the contamination of the water sources, open water sources, is, is very dangerous for developing countries. Uh, and I believe that more people in the developing world die from lack of clean water than the food, than, than because of food. Uh, the food is plentiful in developing countries, especially in tropical countries. They never die of hunger, a lot of bananas and all, and fish. But clean water is critical. Other people have uh, diseases caused by, by polluted water. Children especially, playing in the field, going swimming in water, drinking, sometimes playing soccer and drinking water in the nearby, you know, pond. It is, uh, I think it's critical. That's why I choose, uh, I, I enjoy working with Queso, I devote my time to Queso, and uh, uh, I will be, will, will be working with Queso for as long as I can. <laughs>